Hi there. It's Matt. Uh, I wanted to show you guys a game that I just came up with the other day. I haven't played it a ton. You know, I'd probably develop it a little bit more, but because of its light theme, I thought uh, you might be interested in hearing about it now. So this one is called Thanksgiving Dinner. It's played with a standard deck of playing cards. And what you do, take out the jokers, separate out the face cards from the number cards. I'm gonna shuffle up the face cards. And then we're gonna set them up around the table for our dinner. I'm gonna do five on this side. One on the head of the table over here, then five on the other side of the table, one on the head of the table over here. Then we take the number cards and we shuffle those up. And then we put them out, and these are going to be the food that they are trying to eat for Thanksgiving. And I can explain that a little bit. The theme, again, on this game is not as maybe as tight in terms of the mechanics and the other things as some may some of the other games, but I thought it might be enjoyable as a puzzle still. So here's our table. Here's our guests sitting around the Thanksgiving dinner table. Here's the food. And the idea is that each of these guests has a type of food that they prefer. Um, so a jack of spades, his preferred food is spades. Now, if you could maybe think of something that it, that food looks like, that is a Thanksgiving thing, you know. I tried to do that. Like, I, I vaguely thought the, uh, the diamonds, I looked at them as um, cranberries or cranberry sauce. So you could do the hearts as, like, rolls. And, um, I don't know, maybe those are mashed potatoes and... The spade, I don't know, it was like a drumstick, so a turkey drumstick, turkey. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a stretch. But the idea is that they have different types of foods that they like. And by the end of the game, you want to have the, of each suit, you need to have the king. So like the king of hearts needs to have eaten the most hearts and the queen will need to have eaten the second most and the jack will need to eat the third most of hearts same for every suit and that's the goal and you want to have um, by the end of the game i'm considering a win if you if you have 10 of the 12 fit that goal so like the king if all the kings have the most of theirs all the Queens have the most of theirs, and all the jacks have the most. Have the oh, I'm sorry, all the queens have the second most, and all the jacks have the third most. Then that would be twelve, right? If two of them off, that'd be ten, and that's how you get a win. If you get all twelve, you have the perfect Thanksgiving dinner. So here's how the basic gameplay works. On each round, you will be able to pick up, pass, and plate three of the dishes on the table, three of the cards, and so. Keeping in mind that you want, again, the kings to have the most of their suit, queens the second most, the jacks as the third most. Now, a so a spade here, he could... Sorry, these cards are a little stiff on this table. All right, so he could pick that up, and then he could pass it, and you can pass up to two people away. So he could pass it over there to the queen, he could pass it to this queen, pass it to this queen and she these ones on the heads of the table are nice because they can reach two cards and they can pass around the corner so you could pass that to the king so you can pass up to two away they can take it you can pass it one away um, and also you do not have to only eat what is the suit they prefer they can eat other things like this queen of clubs if she wanted to she could eat that two of hearts and there are some cases where that might strategically make sense um, but to start, I'll show a basic round. So I'm going to pick up, I'll, we'll pick up this six here. Let's see, I'm going to pick it up and then I'm going to pass it over to the queen and she'll plate it. So it becomes 
on her plate. So she's eating one thing. She's eating a six of spades. Uh, and then, you know what? I think I'm going to stick with spades here just to sh show this a little bit. So now I'm going to take this nine of spades. That Jack's going to pick that up and he's going to pass it to the king of spades. He eats that. So now he has the most. She has the second most. And then I'm going to take this four. Am I going to pass it over to? Yeah, let's just do it for the sake. Like this. And she's going to, uh, so that can be picked up by either the king or the queen because she can reach both of these cards and pass it over to the jack. And he's going to plate that. And now he has the most. She has the second most. He has the third most. That was true at the end of the game. They would meet the requirements. But of course, it's going to be a little more complicated than that as we keep going. So uh, that's one round because I've done three. And it's easy to keep track of because you can see that you have three holes on your table. Start the next round. I fill in going clockwise, starting at the corner. So I fill in there, I fill in here, and I fill in there. All right, now I can do the same thing again. Now, now there's nothing really good for those spades over here. So I might go like, uh, I might take this seven, and I might have, again, the jack or the king could pick that up. Uh, I'm going to have the king pick it up and just play it to himself because he needs a lot of the hearts. I am going to pick up this from here and pass it over and plate for the jack of hearts. And then why don't we get this nine over to our king right there. So that was picked up by her, passed over two spaces, which is the most I can pass, and played by the king. Now again, we have our three open spaces, so we've done three. And we fill in, going clockwise. And so you keep going until, well, until you reach when, a, um, when one of the guests gets three cards, because you can have more than one card, you build them up. Um, so for instance, let me just do another turn here and I can show you. So let's say this jack gets passed from over from there to the jack. This two of hearts gets passed to the jack. So he can have two cards now. Uh, he has two food, and you can have up to three food. So once they have eaten three different foods, or all the same types, just three cards, they exit the table and they no longer eat, and they can no longer pass cards either. Um, so let me finish this turn, and then once we get up to three cards, you'll see what happens. So king's going to pick up this five, pass it along two cards to this king. Now he's doing really well. He has 12 over there. Uh, what else can we do here? Hmm. Well, maybe I'll get this five to our queen. Man, I'm really strong with these cards. All right, so the jack of spades picks that up, passes it over one, plates for the queen. So now she has five diamonds. We have three holes, so we know we're done with this turn. Sometimes you lose track, but you can just count the holes. Fill in clockwise. And then let's see, I well, don't want to take too long showing this. So let's see, let's take this five and pick it up there, pass it over, plates for that. Then let's see, let's just do, uh, I don't know, oh, great. Let's take this 10 of spades. She can pick it up, pass it to our king. Now he's got a nine and a 10. He's looking really good for that goal there. Okay. So we've done one, two, we'd get one more. So let's see, let's do, let's do this two here for the queen. So she picks it up, doesn't need to pass, she can plate. And let's fill in, we have three spaces. One, two, three. All right, let's see. Now it's getting a little trickier because I don't want this jack to get too much there. Um, let's see, we'll just see what happens when one gets filled up, right? When one is full, they eat all three. So let's take this three of spades. Let's give it to our, or get picked up. Sorry, my thing keeps on getting in the way here. Don't have the most fancy setup here. All right, this three, it's picked up by her, passed. 
over to our king. So now he has free food. So he leaves the table and you go take a nap. He's stuffed, he's full of good food. So we can just do this so you can still see, keep track of how much our king has. But he has left the table. He, so he can no longer pick up and pass either. So that means if this queen wanted to pass this, let's like this, uh, oh yeah, like say she wanted to pass this six to this jack of diamonds, she can pack, pick it up, but now there's no one to pass it to, so it can't be passed to the jack anymore. So you have to be careful about when you fill these up. And then, let's see. So let me finish this turn. Let me give, mm, I'm gonna give this two over here. She picks it up, passes it two spaces, plates so now she's at eight so we're still looking good on our spades he's got 22 she's got eight she's got four no one else has any spades so that's still looking good uh, we have to do one more this turn let's see great let's pass this over he'll pick that up and pass one two spaces to our king so now our king is looking pretty good there he's got 15 we have three holes we fill in clockwise all right. All right, let's just keep on moving here. So we'll do this, pick that up, pass over, and plate. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I could think more about this. It's looking a little tricky. Huh? Let's see. Can't pass that over. Let's just get that king to move the game along. So he picks that up. He picks that up, passes it one, two. Now that king has eaten three things. I should have picked different cards for this. There's not easy to pick up on this table. All right, uh, so he has eaten three things now. So he goes to take his nap, go crash on the couch, stuff with the good food. All right, and let's see, for this turn, we still have one more to do. And so now two guests have left the table and when three guests or more um, on on the turn that three guests have left or on the turn that the third guest or if you you could be a turn where you get three four or five after that um, but on the turn with that third one leaves the table we're going to move on to the second stage of the game which is the dessert stage and that ends the game after that but right now we just have two so we'll have to wait for a third but let's do, well, let's just show what would happen. So with my third one, because I have two holes, I start to do one more. And that's another thing. You have to, on each turn, uh, plate three food. You can't just decide, oh, I only want to do two and then fill these in for the next turn. You have to do three. So there'll be some strategy involved with that. And then let's just have her eat that, just to show how this game is going. So now she has eaten three food. She goes to go take her nap. She's filled up on her uh, her favorite cranberry sauce, I guess. Ooh, let's make things slide a little here. I'm sorry, guys. This is not the most professional setup I have here. I'll try and get this set up again. Looking good. How did I have that before? How's that? Is that better? Uh, not really, huh? Too much. I'll edit this out, I think. That's close, but not quite. I think that can do for now, right? Yeah, let's try that. 
look okay? I think so. Can't even see the top very well. Let's mess that up. Okay. Let's push this down. Okay, so. Where was I? Right. So now we've had three people leave. So we finished the turn, but I've already done my three. So now we move on to the dessert stage. For the dessert stage, you do not fill these back in. What you do is, I'm gonna push this guy up a little bit here, just so I can get the dessert on the screen here. And for the dessert, you take the remaining cards in your deck that you're gonna flip over for the food, and you flip them over here on what we'll call the dessert table. What you do is you make a pile for each of the suits, and if you get another one, you put it on top. So we're laying out our desserts. And you can put them all four in a row, but I just don't have space with what I'm doing right now. Ooh, lots of diamonds in here. Lots of cranberry sauce, I guess I said. <laughs> So we have one of every suit in there, okay. At least one. And yeah, again, you'll have more space if you actually set this up better. But I do not make many videos, so, or at least live videos like this. So I set it as the greatest. All right, so now we have our dessert table set up. Again, you can have them all in a row instead of like this. And now what you have to do is you go around the table, and everyone who is not full has to take one dessert. Because, you know, when desserts are out, everyone has to try something, right? And some people specifically save space for dessert. So this is, again, where some you get the luck of the draw what comes out, but there's a little bit of strategy of how you fill the desserts. So um, I have... So you start at the top and work clockwise, just like when you're filling in. So we start with the, this jack here. Now we're thinking about our goals. So he has four, he has eight, and he has 22. So we're good right now. No one else has any spades. But if I gave him this five, he would have nine and she would have eight. He wouldn't be third anymore and she wouldn't be second anymore. So I probably don't want him to eat this five. So is there something else that would be better? Perhaps this diamond would be better. And then hopefully I can get the jack to have more than that. So I will give him that diamond. And if you want, you can flip these to show that he is done, so in case you forget, because that is it for the game. He's done eating now. Then we move on to our queen. And our queen, let's see. She needs to be in second place, right? So first place right now, he has 19, so that's good. He has five, so if he, she eats this eight. And oh, here's another thing, you can't go out of order. So if I want her to take this too, she can't. You have to take the one that's showing the most. You gotta show what, take what's in front before you work your way to the back of the table. So she takes that eight, which again takes an and some, some strategy of maybe taking another card off so someone else can get what they need. So now we're looking okay there. And all those people, again, that left the table and were too full, they don't eat dessert. So she didn't eat. So now she's done. So she just only ate dessert. She came for just for the dessert. All right. He's all done. This guy needs one more card. Let's see. So he has three. Queen Hearts has 12. She has nothing. If he takes the six, he'll have nine, 12, then she would take the eight, which would not be enough for her to be second. So I don't think I want him to take that. Let's take this off. All right, so now he is done. And the king needs one more. I mean, he can take whatever he wants. He needs a lot. So here we go, and he's all done. Keep working our way around. This king needs something, 10, great. He likes a lot. So he's all done. This 
Jack. Pete's at two. That's still fine, right? Because he'll be at seven. She'll be at eight. He'll be at 19. And there's another one out there, but he'll still have the third most. So that's good. So he's all done. He's left the table. All right, now this queen of hearts needs, she needs to be second, right? So we have three. Over there we have 18. No one else has any hearts. This eight is great. That's left there. And let's see. Now she's done. And next up, we only have three left. Now Jack, we need him to be third for diamonds. And let's see. We already have 18. She has, what's she at over there? Reading upside down. She has 13, and there's also a one, so we need to be somewhere between one and 13. That seven is great. Again, you can't take what you want at the bottom. If you wanted a smaller number, you have to take what's just available on top. All right, so he's done. And then our king is already done. So it's, oh, it's just our queen left. And let's see how we're doing that. Four, eight, and 22. So we're already all set there. And there's no other spades out by someone else. So would this spade throw it off, though? Let's see. That would make her have 13, which would still be OK. Not more than that, and less than that. So we'll do that. So now everyone has eaten. Thanksgiving food is done. Everyone goes home. How did our Thanksgiving do? So let's keep track here. So we can go through all the suits and see how you did. I think we did pretty good. I think we got it all, because I don't remember any problems. But let's go through. So let's start with our spades. Spades, we had 22. Here we had 13. Here we had 4. There were the spades eaten by anyone else. So one, we get three points for that. One, two, three. Those all matched up. Let's go to our diamonds. Diamonds, king, 18. She had 13 and 7. That's all in order. Anyone else have diamonds? He had 1. That doesn't beat our third place there. So we get 3 more points. 4, 5, 6. All right. And then let's move on to our clubs. We had over there 19, 8, and 7. There's also 1 there, but that's in order. Most, second most, third most. So we get 3 more points. We're at 9. Ooh, we could have a perfect Thanksgiving. Let's see. So our king over here has... Let's see, 18, 3, so 18, 8, 3, that's an order. Any other hearts out there? No other hearts. So that's 10, 11, 12. We have the perfect Thanksgiving dinner. Everyone was perfectly happy. So that's how you play this little game. Um, let me know what you think. Again, I haven't played it at this much, so I usually play my other games before sharing it, but I came up with this idea just a couple days ago and wanted to share it before Thanksgiving in case you wanted to have a little solo game to play you had a little extra time um, at some point during this little Thanksgiving break. I don't have a break, but some people have a break. Anyway, so yeah, um, let me know what you think. Hope you enjoy it. And hope this video was okay. It was my first live one. Let me know about that too. Okay, take care.